Hey Crock Posse, Aunt Lou here, and today we are going to be making Crock Pot Steak Tacos. All while having a whole lot of fun. She's making me put some back. Can you believe that? Do you see how deep that is? Hey guys, welcome back to my camper kitchen. I am Chris from Recipes at Crock.com. And I'm Aunt Lou. And we are here today to show you how to make a steak tacos in your slow cooker. Mm -hmm. This is a very popular recipe on a very easy recipe. and very <laughs> easy recipe on recipes that crock.com and so we're just going to show you how to throw it together and so what we already have going on here is we have about four pounds of skirt steak in our slow cooker. The recipe originally calls for flat iron mm -hmm. steak but our which is something that my grocery store always had back in the day they don't now and I've heard from a lot of people that they don't have it available right. to them so you, so we just chose skirt steak to throw in here and that's a lot we've got about four pounds but this is one of those cook all day recipes we get asked for low that a lot. and slow so to that we are going or first we're going to well this is a tougher cut of meat Yes, and so that's why you want to do low and slow. So I know a lot of people like to say, hey, can I switch this recipe over to high with a tough cut of meat? Don't do it. Right. It's not going to turn out the same. Now, what we're also going to do is we're going to salt this a little bit because there's no salt in the seasonings. So we're going to toss a little salt in there. But Aunt Lou's going to put together the seasonings. And what are you going to put in? Okay, I got garlic powder. Wow, a brand new one. Um, so let me get it open. Maybe <laughs> you do that. Well, I get the onion powder. <laughs> Let's see if it's the same deal. No, it's okay. open. I so think we, we got have garlic powder back there. Okay. Check it out. Um, yeah. we've got a teaspoon of onion powder. Lucky there. That oh, that was it. <laughs> Who's on first? Uh, we're a hot mess. Yes. Um, got a teaspoon of garlic powder. The original recipe also calls for a teaspoon of cumin, but I think that Chris that's says, just against all the rules. Well, if you didn't want to, here's a little trivia. If you didn't want to dirty up another spoon, you could have just used three teaspoons to make one. There you spoon. go. So we got, whoa, I can smell that. Yep. <laughs> and then a tablespoon of chili, chili powder. powder. And she's going to okay. mix that together. Got a fork. There's a fork. So just get it nice and mixed up so that when you sprinkle your seasoning on, you get a little bit of everything. And you might even move the meat around to get everything seasoned since I've got it really crowded in there. Um, I'm just going to take, we'll see where we are whenever I get done with this. And if I can, if I still have some left after covering the top, right, then I'll move the meat around. It's all going to cook down and eventually yeah. be shredded, so it's going to be fine, but I just like for it to cook. There, there's a little you bit. You can even flip them if you want to. You're cheap. asking a lot. I'm asking a lot. <laughs> Trying to keep from having to touch the meat. There, it's on the bottom side. Does that make you happy? Here, watch this. <gasps> what are you doing? <laughs> now she has to wash her hands, not me. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta get your hands dirty. <laughs> Well, see, it makes sense because you're closest to the sink. <laughs> that was my plan all along. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. We made that way more complicated than it really had to be. <laughs> all right. And now I'm just going to dump in around the outside. We're going to dump your tomato. I kind of two cans of Rotel. Put the juices kind of around. So you're not knocking all your seasoning that you just so carefully put on there um, off. And then you can dump the tomatoes because the juice kind of comes first anyway. Um, and there's not a oh. ton. What? 
in the world. You're slacking, sis. Um, I can get it to come out. And then you can just put your tomatoes on top, around. All right. There you go. And then this cover and cook on low for eight to ten hours. Low and slow. If it is still tough, it is not done. You need to just cook it a little bit longer. So that's what we're going to have for dinner tonight. And mm -hmm. we will see you back in three, two, one. And we are back. We have cooked this for about, it looks almost eight hours. We've had to unplug and plug back in and move it around and all that kind of stuff. So honestly, we're just going when the meat got tender and we got hungry enough. Yeah. So that's pretty much what's happened. It's been all day and we tested it a little bit. You'll see that some of the meat has been pulled apart and that is us testing it to see if we could get the meat to come apart. It probably could even go another hour or two, but we're hungry. So we are just going to keep pulling things apart. See how it easily just kind of um, comes apart. Can you see it? I think so. Okay. Hey, so me. what I'm going to do while Aunt Lou gets her taco toppings ready over here is I... Really? Okay, y'all. Well, for Aunt Lou, it's just cheese. Let's be honest. I, I'm plain Jane when it comes to things. Chris makes fun of me. And I'm not making fun. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. um, and so... She's anti-vegetable, folks. <laughs> Don't tell my kids. <laughs> now, I will tell she you... She goes to Taco Bell drive through and she'll say, I would like a... Um, a taco Oh, with, but she doesn't make fun of me. With no tomato, no lettuce, blah, 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 and just the meat and cheese. And the lady will always say, would you, you like, like the, would you like the taco shell? Do you want the shell, too? <laughs> yes. Yes, so. I want the shell. <laughs> but thanks for the... Sorry. <laughs> I just get tickled every time they, they get really confused. Um, but I will eat... Like, I love, like, romaine lettuce and salad and stuff like that and stuff. It's just, I'm very picky on anything I eat, vegetables included. That's all right. Okay, so I've, I'm still working on it, but I've got plenty. Are you going to put cheese on it? Oh, you put, I was going to put it on. Oh, afterwards? Top. Okay. But, but here. Try not to touch it so it doesn't. Oh, Lord. Oh my gosh! Show them what you just did. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I got it. You're not. You're oh gonna have goodness. to put part of that back in. She's making me put some back. Can you believe <laughs> that? Do you see how deep that is? <laughs> like seriously. <laughs> oh my goodness. Do you want some? It's like, well, you can put some on mine. It, like, but still, you're gonna have to put some back. I think it'll be fine. That's plenty. And then <laughs> that's good for me. Have I mentioned it cooked all day? And we're a little cooked, too. <laughs> all right. I'm tired. So, are you okay with me? Are you going to show them what it looks like all... Yeah. Um, well, yours is going to be prettier. Oh, where's the camera? I, I thought oh, you were going to show me this. Uh, I was just going to take it up there. Okay. Oh, Lordy. Bear okay. with us. So, here's what it looks like all shredded up. And this, again, is skirt steak. So it's going to be, have a little bit more, um, it's going to be a, a little bit more connecting tissue than what you would have had in like a flat iron steak, but it's still shredded nice up for mm -hmm. nice steak tacos. Okay. All right. Let's give it a shot. All right. All right. Do you want to do yours or do you want me to do yours? No, you can do it. Okay. All right. Got there. You want more? Uh, just a little bit. Just a I want to be able to close it. There you go. Okay. So All right. Just so then I'm going see. to make mine with lettuce and tomato. See, mine shows you the true beauty of this steak <laughs> recipe. So, there you go. Yummy, yummy. If they want to know what it tastes like, you got to tell them. I, well, I, I need to taste oh, it. Oh, my goodness. Let me show you how this is done. <laughs> so, what you do is you take the taco and you come up here and Wait, you say, hers has hey, more cheese. so this is what we've prepared. This is steak with oh, tomatoes oh, I'm just go sit down, and guys. cheese. See you later. <laughs> and then you come up here like this and you hold the taco here, just like this. this oh, that's pretty. See, mine's <laughs> got mine. vegetables on it. And then, and then you come up here. Guys, I'm just going to sit down over and then, here. And, and then you do this. You go, and then right about now is when this really cool music pops up, like now. And then you come up here and you go. Mm. 
Mm. So what do you think, Mikey? I took too big of a bite. <laughs> It's yummy. I can't talk. Lou's sitting down on the job. Mm. Mm -hmm. That meat mm. melts in your mouth. It just falls apart. And he's like, I would like that. Mm. <laughs> Poor Ad. No, so good. Ad, you're going to want some of this here in an hour or so. <clears throat> oh, be nice. And of course, the veggies are good on it too for those of us who like veggies. But you know what? Just cheese would work good too. Some hot sauce. I don't know. What would you Just put on your taco? Just cheese works awesome. It's yummy. Show them. Show them. That's what it looks like when Lou eats a taco. Oh my <laughs> gosh, these are good guys. Oh, and that's why you don't put veggies on it because they fall out the back end of your taco. <laughs> I don't. But want we don't to want taco about, about it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let them close it out and eat my taco. Oh. <laughs> All right, ladies. You got cheese. Uh oh. If you guys like this video, we'd love for you to give us a thumbs up. If you're not already a member of the Crock Posse, please click subscribe and you'll become a member of our slow cooking family. Um, if you would like to know whenever we put up a new video, hit the ding a ling. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever you do, laugh often, eat good food, and speak life! Bye, guys. You ready? I wanted to get that out before you started. Go ahead, we're good now. And we are. I, I can't. You Just can't what? <laughs> I wasn't that ready. Yourself. I wasn't ready that close after the explosion over there. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon.